Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Archive Talk for Special in Yusei Stormo. So let's go jump into the final episode of the story arc or story mode of Yusei Fudo. You're leaving today, Nercival. I understand you have to get back to your travels and to look for other opponents to duel against. I'm sure. I knew this time together I wouldn't last forever. Everyone been leaving, Kiryu, Crow, Jack, and now even you. Everyone has their reason to follow the path they chosen. I also. That's right, I finally decided I will leave this seat too. What? Okay, let's leave together, Nercival. Wow, that's something. Where are we? Hmm. This seems so right. It's been a while since I've been to the outskirts of the city. Huh. I forgot how cool your D-wheeler look up close. I like it. However, there's one last request I have for you before Nercival before I depart. I want you to duel me. Right here, right now. Of all the people I cross sword with, you're the only one I yet to beat. This battle will determine our true strength by pushing both of us to our limit. Don't hold anything back, Nercival. This is where we created our own future. This final part of this duel is gonna be like saying Tuesday. I always assume that every duel, every duel in the heart will be a tag duel and I was surprised in the Zane Tuesdale story mode where it's gonna be 1v1 and I actually like it. And here it and I thought that's gonna be the last or unique one, but here we are. You say Fudo. It's a 1v1. And yeah, let's see how powerful you say Fudo's deck. I think you say Fudo's deck even even though you can see partner's deck. This deck is actually the Among Beyond Stars deck that I used in the first and second part. So, which, which means it's actually powerful. In 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 a way, I think. But of course, his deck is just like mine. Sometimes you just you need to build it. You need to build it up. And to do that is based on using. You say deck is your. It is important to have descending monster from from the graveyard that have a level two or lower level. First things first, activate mystical space siphon. With this, I can destroy one of your set card. Now, I summon Radiant Hand of Lysworm. Activate Radiant Hand Lysworm effect. I'll send top two cards from my deck. And if there's a Lysworn and increases attack, but because there is none, that's that. Battle. Radiant Hand Lysworn attack Chang Synchron. Okay. With that, I end my turn. I cannot summon, you know, just summon and summon a monster because if I do that, there'll be a time where you say destroy all the monster on my field and I don't have a trump card. It's important to have a plan B and plan C in dueling. It's gonna be level 2, isn't it? Yes, I know it. Here it comes. My turn, draw. Activate Heavy Storm. That's actually good, a good draw. Now, by removing one light and one dark monster from my graveyard. A great shining nutrient that's bring hope in the oblivion. Come forth, Light Pulsar Dragon. Now, I summon Cory Bandit. 
battle. Lycosa Dragon attack junk warrior. Neutron Star Burst. For Bandit attack Yusei directly. Now end my turn. I activate for Bandit effect and then turn as in this graveyard and ex excavate the top 5 card in my deck. If there's a spell card, I can choose one of them and put it on my hand. This can be just sort. I, I, I guess I'm gonna take Foolish Burial. So the spell card I'm gonna, ta gonna take is Foolish Burial. Burial, I mean, Foolish Burial. And because Wolf Life Swarm has been sent to the deck the, to the graveyard, I can special summon it in attack mode. Yeah, I think at this point, Yusei doesn't have a way to turn this around. Um, if I'm gonna be honest, Yusei, the deck doesn't really have a chance on battling my deck if... Even if I think if we draw a good, a good card, I think, but yeah, well... Let's just summon Radiant Hand Light Sworn. I'm gonna end this right now. Activate Radiant, Radiant Hand Light Sworn effect. And then activate this. Foolish Burial. It'll just send random card. So I can summon Dark Third Dragon. And with this, my Light and Pulsar and Dark Third Dragon is on the field. Bursting into oblivion. Come forth, Dark Flare Dragon! Battle. Radiant Hand Lights were an attack, you say directly. Dark Flare Dragon attack! Dark Oblivion Burst! Now Wolf, Lights, Burn, Beast, Attack, you see directly. And then, Light Pulse of Dragon and this. Neutron Star Burst! Thank you, Nercival. It's always fun to duel with you. Even though I lost, I sort of I'm glad because you showed me your true spirit in that duel. I can see it all clearly now. In all my years of dueling, Nercival, I never met as strong a duelist as you. You managed to push me to my limit and bring out the power that I sought for for so long. I finally understand what it is that I want from my life now. And I want to pursue that passion wall heartedly. Thanks to you, I can finally follow my dream. You've been a true friend, Nercival. What? You're giving me your hat? Oh, the red hat! Are you sure about this? Thank you, Nercival. I'll treasure this always. I hope our path cross again in the future. It's been a wonderful experience knowing you. So yeah, even though I wanted to have a great deal with you, say I think... Um... His... My, my deck is just kind of better because based on my experience using you say deck is you need to build it up using monster by sending monster level to monster below in your graveyard and that will build your deck up in summoning special summoning monster and also at the same time it's an AI it's actually made a sometimes made a really stupid choice like in the defense you can always just focus on summoning junk card na, and then just build it up in there but he didn't do any of that it seems like it's all been a dream. That's right. I remember it starting with the tournament at the Fortune Cup. I met everyone there and we eventually formed Team 5Ds. We moved on to win the WRGP, battling against enemy on our way to finish the line. And when it comes, and when it was over, we felt like we were standing on top of the world. Those memories of everyone together, they're what gave me strength. I would never trade them for the world. They're what makes, what has made this life worth living. 
you're not truly rich until you have something that money can't buy. That's... It's actually amazing. Wait, th is that us? Whoa, okay. Even though we may be going our ways now, Nerseval, we never be able to forget what you did for me. Thank you for being a part of my life. Wait, we are taller than you see? And also the hat, you can see the hat that our character is holding or you know our avatar, my avatar is holding, that's actually the hat that we gave to you say. It's actually cool, it's amazing. That's the hat you can see in the side. Oh this this is like you say trophy room, okay. And we now acquired Sardas Spark Dragon or Flashing Jade Dragon. That's actually the end. I this is just like a prequel from the Tag Force Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D Tag Force, and it doesn't really have a like big mo moment. I I think because just like a relaxing sequel, something like that. And yeah, I, I did like it. I don't know what Yusei's plan is. Even though he's living in New Domino City, is he gonna pursue? Dueling, will he team up with Jack or Crow or whatever or will he travel? I, I think because of Aki speech, he will. In And yeah, with that, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching and bye!